touch that fire for you I ain't do that three more times again As y'all can see, I have ran out of all my scrubs. I literally have barely anything in my scrubs and it's definitely time to go to Target. I have a little bit of my Dr. Bronner soap left in here. I was gonna dilute it and try to savor the little bit that I have, but I was like, look, we just gotta go get some more because it's no way. When were y'all gonna tell me that the eucalyptus one was just as good as the peppermint one? I've never used the eucalypt the hemp eucalyptus Dr. Bronner's, but this stuff is is pretty up there with the peppermint. Y'all see the razor I had to resort to. Got my little Dollar Tree razors. I am at my favorite store in the world. I'm gonna grab some Nair because my arms are looking like a werewolf right now and I guess I'll get this I've never used V I always use the Nair one I guess I'll grab this one well, if you're anything like me you need two different toothbrushes you need one for your teeth and then you need one for your tongue not soft you don't want to go soft you want kind of a medium these are all soft Here's some mediums right here. So I love these. They just really glide effortlessly on my skin and I leave out with the smoothest legs ever. And I don't get razor bumps with these. My favorite soap, it's not here. Okay, um, we can grab the smaller one. Back from Target, I'm about to show y'all everything that I picked up. All the goods right here. As y'all can see, the girl is wolfing. I'm wolfing right now. So I had to pick me up some Nair shower cream. I love Nair for my arms. I never shave my arms. I've never used this scent though, but yeah, Nair stinks regardless. Let me smell it now. Yeah, no. Then I picked up my favorite scrubs. They got some new holiday scents. So I got the candy cane one and then I got the watermelon scrub. And it has like little faux watermelon seeds in there for some added exfoliation. And then I've never tried the Tree Hut Whip Shea Butter. 
but I want to try it out this time. And I got the Coco Colada scent. It's with pineapple and coconut. It's real creamy. It's not like... It feels more like a lotion than a shea butter, if we being honest. Um, yeah, I feel like shea butter gives you more of that like glow to your skin. This gives me the same feeling as lotion. I love me some Dr. Bronner's best soap ever. Normally I go for the big jugs, but they didn't have that. And then I got my Venus razors. Um, these are my favorites. They just, they get over the knees really easily. That's why I like these ones. Bow. Toothbrushes. I also got double line flossing theme of bobbers. I've never actually used this brand, but we gonna see how this works. And I always have these exfoliating gloves on because it just makes it so much easier to exfoliate your whole body rather than using a rag. I feel like rags just aren't exfoliating enough. So I also love bath cloth. So basically, I just use this for my back because I can't see back there, can't get back there. And it's just so easy. It's like a long rectangular little thing of my bob. And you just go and you scrub your back. This one's a little bit more rough than the exfoliating gloves, but the back can take it. Oh, and I had got this, what is it called? An Anahana? An Aniahana? I don't freaking know. But I got this shower steamer i've never used a shower steamer a day in my life but i had got the lemonade scent and i used it and it was cool what is everybody like raving about this stuff for it's like okay the shower smells good the shower was gonna smell good regardless because i'm getting in the shower using soap i don't know what the hype is about or maybe i'm using it wrong it was cool it wasn't all that i probably wouldn't buy this again but I guess maybe to feel a little bit more bougie in my showers, I might throw this in there, here and there. I also like to use this body oil. I use this in the shower. I like this one because it's a body breakout clearing oil and it's not super heavy. Lastly, I go in with my lotions, my whipped butters. There's this whipped butter, if you're in Atlanta, there is this guy oof i think his thing is shea butter baby or something he's at little five points and he makes the best scented butters ever the pink sugar one is so yummy but every time i go there it's closed or nobody's in the shop i'm gonna give y'all my review on this tree hut coco colada butter because it was really giving lotion but we're gonna see so far I really do like the scent. Let's get it. It's my everything shower. That's what I'm gonna call this video. My everything shower. Y'all about to get the whole shebang. So let's get it. I'm just gonna organize these. We're jumping into my everything shower and this shower is just about having super smooth skin and being hydrated and glowy. So first things first, I'm going to start with my body hair removal. I like to use the Nair shower cream and first things first, we want to make sure we are tying our hair back because we do not want this stuff getting in our hair because your hair will fall out. And I like to apply this stuff with gloves on just because it can get a little messy, but that's totally optional. I 
I'm completely lathered up. This arm is already starting to go through that hair process where it's beating up. So I wait a couple minutes. I think it only says to wait like one minute, but I have pretty like thick, long hair. I just let it sit for a little second, not to the point where I'm irritated or my skin is hurting. There is a slight tingle, tingly sensation that occurs when using this product, but that's normal, I guess. I'm about to get the shower running so we can hop in there and begin the removal process because that is the most satisfying part. So, I don't know if y'all can hear me, but normally I take my clothes completely off before I even apply this. Um, the hair is looking about ready to wipe off. So I am going to just simply wet my rag and scoop the hair off. <laughs> Look at that hair, y'all. And I wipe in the opposite direction of the hair growth. Similar to how I would shave, I don't see any hair left over. But if I do end up finding some, I'll just quickly go over that with a razor. Now that we have the nair all removed, I love to go in with the shower gloves and a lot of soap. Um, and I just scrub my body down. These exfoliating gloves are super great for removing that top layer of dead skin. Also, it helps to exfoliate any areas that, you know, you get waxed. I get my armpits waxed, so I like to exfoliate that, making sure I get release any ingrown hairs. Now I'm going in with the Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs and I tried out this new scent and it smells so yummy and it left my skin feeling super soft and it gave that like menthol feeling afterwards and I also love to exfoliate before shaving just so it can help remove any trapped hairs underneath my skin to give me that smoothest shave. So now I'm going in with the papaya brightening bar soap that I got off Amazon and it will be linked down below. I like to use the back scrubber with that soap just so I can get every single part of my back. I suffered with a bit of hyperpigmentation on my back. I used to have quite bad back acne. So um, anything that helps with lightening those areas are perfect for me. And if you all have any recommendations in terms of how to lighten up hyperpigmentation on the back area, please let me know. After I finish with that, I turn off the shower and I apply my everything oil all over my body. And this just gives me that all over shine. It locks in that moisture from the shower. And of course, get between your toes and just look at that glow. Like my skin is on glow, girl. And now I am going in with the Tree Hut Coco Colada. This is my first time using their whipped shea butter and it definitely feels like a lotion, but it left a lasting scent on my body and it's super hydrating. I will give them that. Like I felt scrumptious after this shower, literally ready to be devoured. <laughs> So if you all have any product recommendations or you use any of these products, let me know in the comments. I am going to be showing y'all my highly requested oral routine. I get so many compliments and comments about my smile and everyone is like, whoa, did you get veneers? Or how do you get your teeth so white? And how are your gums so clean? My dental routine is really straightforward i'm gonna break down my routine from day to night so in the morning i wake up i brush my teeth and i use a natural toothpaste i don't like to use those big name brand toothpaste even when i was using those name brand toothpaste i was getting compliments on my smile so i feel like the toothpaste really isn't the huge factor here so it's really about the frequency in which you do this routine and it also is about how thorough you are with your teeth 
I use an electric toothbrush. They really power through any of the grime food that's stuck in your teeth. Standard toothbrushes, they're cool. I feel like you just gotta work a little bit harder. I got my toothbrush off of Amazon. I got the Oral-B um, Braun Pro Timer electric toothbrush and I just purchase new heads every so often. Um, each pack I believe comes with about four heads and the heads look like this. I like getting the one that has the flosser, those yellow flossers. They help to get food out of your teeth. I love that this brush indicates when it's time to change it. So it goes from a really nice like greenish blue color and then the moment it gets fully yellow or I really, I would probably change it at this point. But once it gets yellow, that means it's time to change your brush. And I also get these Steripods, Steripods. You know, if your toothbrush is in the bathroom, you just wanna make sure your, something that you're putting in your mouth is covered. You know what I'm saying? You don't want poop particles on your toothbrush. But I will make sure to link everything down below. And for a lot of you who are asking, do I whiten my teeth? Do I get it professionally whitened? Do I use strips? Do I use a whitening toothpaste? I don't really whiten my teeth at all. I probably would whiten my teeth maybe once a year, if that. This is the toothpaste, the prebiotic plant-based toothpaste with perilla seed. And this is the mint um, flavor. And it's also pretty healthy in terms of like the ingredients that are inside of the toothpaste. I am a germaphobe, I guess you can call it. I just don't like using the same thing that I use on my tongue, on my teeth. I feel like that just needs a separate, like its own separate thing. So I have a separate brush that I use and that is strictly for my tongue. I'll go in, put a little toothpaste, brush my tongue. That's not it for the tongue. I go in with a metal tongue scraper and it looks like this. I just go through and I'll scrape away anything that the toothbrush did not pick up. The last part of my morning routine is the TheraBreath mouthwash. And I got this in the Invigorating Icy Mint. I actually really like this um, mouthwash. This is, I've been using this for like a few weeks now and I love how it's not super like spicy as soon as you put it in your mouth. It lasts a really long time as well. During like midday, say you're eating, you know, you ate breakfast, you ate lunch. I brush my teeth sometimes twice sometimes three times a day. So in the middle of the day, if I feel like, okay, I've had a bit to eat, I need to refresh my mouth. Sometimes I'll just swish around with some mouthwash or I'll go in with my electric toothbrush. Just a quick little run around. For my nighttime routine, I do the same steps, except I'll floss first. I also love that it has a pick on the end of it. I'll go in with my Oral-B electric toothbrush and just get the day off. Follow up with that same tongue scraping toothbrush that I use and then I'll go in with the metal tongue scraper. I'm gonna go in with the same TheraBreath. So on days that I feel like, you know, I need a deep, deep cleanse, I'll go in with this water pick. It's not even, the water break, hold on. It's Ellie Floss, Ella Floss or something like that. It has so many different levels, so many different speeds, pressures. If you have really sensitive gums, you can have the pressure set really low. I like it a little aggressive because I want everything out of my mouth. Probably do this maybe three, two to three times out the week. Okay, let me, let me also talk about that. I go to the dentist twice a year, so I get my regular little checkups, I get my cleanings done, and everything, yeah. So, I feel like that's super important as well, especially if you aren't taking care of your teeth, so you have a professional looking into what's going on in your mouth. So, let me tell y'all how I thought I was recording my face washing process and I didn't hit record. I use the Ordinary Squaling Cleanser. It is great for um, removing any makeup. Also go in with the Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder just to remove any dead skin off of my face from the day. Now, let's get back into the routine that I actually recorded.
And I loved using paper towels. So I like to go in and dry my face with a paper towel. The reason I like using paper towels is because I just feel like they're just more hygienic. There's just a lot of bacteria that can fester on those cloth materials. I used to have really, really bad acne. So now we're just gonna tone our face. This is the Good Molecules Glycolic Exfoliating Toner. Take a cotton round, well two cotton rounds. And then I just swipe it on my face like so. This is how I know I clean my face really well is if like I don't see any type of residue. I just fan until my face feels completely dried. This is low key a crucial step. Making sure that each layer has dried completely. I am going in with the Cos RX Advanced Snail Mucin Essence. The next step after I allow the essence to dry, go in with the Elastilif Glycolic Retexturizing Treatment. Glycolic acid is really good for um, treating any like discoloration, any type of texture on your skin. Now I'm just going to go in with the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Plus B5. For the Hyaluronic Acid, I like to pat this into my skin. So I'm going to go in with the Cos RX Advanced Snail Mucin All-in-One Cream. Y'all see how sticky? Like this is, I use this also for my makeup base. It just grips makeup so well. Last final step that I use is an eye cream. This is the Lancome Renette, Re Re what the fuck? Renage, oh, that's what it is. Renage, yeah, yep, whatever. The, the dark circle correcting eye cream. I take my ring finger because that finger apply, applies the least pressure and underneath your eyes are very delicate so you don't wanna use too much heavy pressure tugging at your eyes causing unnecessary wrinkles. Sometimes I go in with the Cos RX under eye cream and this is the snail peptide eye cream and it's more like a lightweight eye cream it's not heavy this one is a lot more heavy than the Cosrx. so i like to use the heavy duty one at night and then the lighter one during the day and the final step is aquaphor now my lips are nice and hydrated and i am all ready for bed i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you all have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and stay tuned for more videos like this and peace out. Bye.